You're listening to Haunted Hour, real ghost stories from real people. Everyone uh, have a scary or or lovely Friday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, wh- whatever Friday you're happening, well, we are live. Uh, right on we Facebook. We are live. We are alive, brothers and sisters. My yeah. name is Indra Sahib, and I'm Noel Boyd. Welcome, welcome, and I cannot say it anymore. Welcome to Haunted Hour. Yeah, man. Welcome to Haunted Hour. <laughs> I, I hope you guys have had a fantastic week. <laughs> I'm just ignoring him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. We, 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 it's, it's been a fantastic week, man. No, I, I, I'm talking to the viewer. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> but you have had a fantastic week. Yeah. What have you been doing? I've been uh, swimming, jogging, running, and uh, running away from uh, the authorities. Uh, <laughs> you mean your wife? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Don't mention here, lah, bro. Live, right? We, we are doing live, right? I got all the texts from you. you know? <laughs> <laughs> And then you were telling me that <laughs> that you want your your wife to come on the show one day, and then I'm asking myself, mm. is that a wise decision? I hope so. I hope so. Mm. <laughs> But uh, if if she's watching right now, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I hope she won't come, lah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you come because I want to um, talk to you one on one. I want to I want to tell you that uh, I feel very sorry for you. Yeah. For marrying this man. <laughs> Well, what's in store for us, man, tonight? Um. Okay, before that, how's your week, bro? <laughs> none of your business. Uh, none no. of my business. <laughs> okay, to, to the viewer. <laughs> yeah, I had, I've had a very busy week. Uh, okay. Yeah, so I, every week is busy, lah. Mm. But I, I, I think this week been very productive. All right. Yeah, I've been going to a lot of meetings and all. Mm. Uh, going to a lot of strip clubs. Is there one in Singapore, <laughs> though? <laughs> If there's one, see you you caught me off guard, man. I want to know how turn, come it's how my come, turn right now to caught you off guard. <laughs> I want to know how come a religious man like you can say things like this. Yeah, huh? and I'm I'm wondering whether movies should speak to you. Okay, do not yeah. do not mention any anyone here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. So it's been a busy week, yes, and yeah. I hope uh, it's been a productive week for our viewers also. Yeah. Mm. Exactly. Um. Last week, right, mm. was was kind of cool because it was just the two of us on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then we we went on for like two hours, nonstop, bro. Yeah, we nearly forget to go back home, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think our wives were rejoicing, <laughs> like, can this guy go on for like a few more hours? Uh, mm. Yeah, so we like you to like the post now, yeah. or or even share it on your wall so that you know we can reach out to more people. So if you can do that, we'd be very, very, very grateful. Thank you so much. And uh, for those uh, who love our content, please do not forget, right, to buy us a coffee. Yeah. Right. A token of appreciation here. Uh, the link is just right above me. Is www.buymeacoffee.com/gfstv. Yep. And later on in at night, right, mm. maybe after the half an hour mark, yep. we are going to uh, do a Q and A. Uh, maybe the last 15 minutes Yeah, that's what we always do The last 15 minutes mm. We open up a Q&A You can ask us Any questions you want And then we'll do our best To answer Yippee Yeah <laughs> And we have a guest In the studio today So it's not mm. We're not stuck with The two of <laughs> us <laughs> Thank goodness <laughs> You know you'll be Bored to death okay Bored yeah. to death why are, you not talking, why are you talking to him No no I'm talking to the camera Oh Hello brother I also okay. want to talk to the viewers Right <laughs> uh, you really shouldn't. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, so we have a guest in the studio. Yeah, uh, he's an awesome guy, man. So I'm so happy that he's joining us. His name is Mujahid. Hey, welcome, Mujahid. Hi, 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 everyone. <laughs> <laughs> from from just now, I see that he's he's kind of like uh, waiting to come in. Right? Yeah, <laughs> he's very anxious because why we've been building up the intro like quite uh, at a certain pace. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and he's like, okay. When when are they going to talk to me? Yeah. When are when, you when are they going to pass the mic to me? Pass the mic to me. <laughs> yeah. So thank you for joining us. Yes. Right. So later on, you're gonna tell us about your experiences at Emerald Park. Mm. <sighs> yeah. Oh, that's a that's a long, <laughs> long, uh, deep breath, man. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I I've been to this park once. Okay. And then so we did a paranormal investigation. It was, I I 
I wanted more from the place, but I think maybe we just went on the wrong day mm-hmm. or at the wrong time. Mm-hmm. I but, see. Um, I've heard so many stories about this wow. this park, and the park is just next to a prison, mind you. Wow. Um, and 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 this prison, you know, what our, our uh, uh, system is in in Changi Prison mm. is that those guys who are finishing the last part of their sentence for the, the, the crimes aren't really serious so maybe it could be for like loan sharks or uh, foreign workers that have stayed on in Singapore for a little too long or, or they were mm-hmm. here illegally yeah. yeah they put them there so it's a bit more relaxed this prison is a bit more relaxed they get to watch more TV mm-hmm. yeah so that, that's what I know about the place but it's still a prison bro of course yeah <laughs> nevertheless it's still a prison I didn't say it's not a prison. And like you said, every prison is haunted in some ways. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because there's a lot of bad energy that, yep. that goes on mm. in prison. So we're going to speak to Mujahid about that in just a while. Yeah. But first, we're going to go on to terrifying trivia. Yeah. Let's do it. Uh, I'm going to talk about this place called Bukit Brown Cemetery. I love, I love, I love Bukit Brown, Bukit Brown Cemetery because there's just so much to see, right? You're looking at really old graves. Uh, a lot of them uh, are unique. So, Bukit Brown is estimated to house about 100,000 tombs. And it's in a vast land size of, of about 0.86 square kilometers. Mm. And Bukit Brown Cemetery has been abandoned since its closure in 1973. Now, a small portion of Bukit Brown Cemetery is cut off by the Penn Island Expressway and Mount Pleasant Road. The former body of Bukit Brown Cemetery was Se Ong Cemetery. Now, this was bought by three rich Hawken businessmen uh, and they used it not just as a burial ground but also for farming. Okay, mm. And it was also called the Kopi Swan, which means Coffee Hill. Mm. And this was due to the nearby coffee plantations at Mount Pleasant. Wow. Now, many famous Chinese pioneers are buried at Bukit Brown, such as Yun Tong Singh's mother, Yu Kong, and uh, who else? Lim Chong Pang. Uh, he's, they've named uh, the Chongpong village after him. Mm-hmm. Gan Ing Seng, that's the Gan Ing Secondary School. And Chu Bun Lei, and that's the Bun Lei New Town. Now, the largest tomb belongs to Ong Sam Leong. Now, he's a businessman, plantation owner, and contractor to the mines of Christmas Island. His grave occupies 600 square meters, about the size of a 10 three room HDB flat. Now, wow. that's huge. Wow. The grand tomb is decorated with 15 meter long platform completed with stone statues of deities, lions, and a two meter tall Sikh guard. Hmm. Mm. Wow. Now, here's a bit of dark history about Bukit Brown, right? Hidden beneath all the tombs, right? There's all, a certain part of it where there are no tombs at all are the remains of thousands of men and women and children that were dumped into unmarked graves. Mm. And these uh, folks are the victims of the brutal war, right? We're talking about the Japanese occupation in Singapore. Wow. Our historical records tell of trucks of bodies that were piled high in the back. Mm. And witnesses described how the Japanese army would lift the bodies on stretchers one by one before tipping them over into the open pits. Mm. It's been estimated that about 1,400 civilians <laughs> who died in the lesser-known Ultram Gull prison during the Japanese occupation were buried in these mass graves. Now, so it's not just the, the civilians as well. We're talking about um, the battle that happened at Bukit Brown Cemetery on the 14th of February, 1942. Mm. So it was a very fierce battle. A lot of soldiers died. Mm. And then they threw them into wells, right? Because there used to be people living there. So the wells yeah. were, were, were for folks to get uh, the fresh water. Mm-hmm. And these bodies were dumped into these wells uh, with their weapons and also their ammunition. Mm, wow. Yeah. Oh, that's scary, man. Yeah. Mm. I, I, I don't know, but I still love uh, Bukit, Bukit Brown. Brown. It's, mm. it's nice in the day. It's nice at night. Uh, I, I went there on a date with my wife. Nice. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, to Bukit Brown. Yeah. I, no, I, our first date was to Bukit Brown at night. Is this a photo? Yeah. So <laughs> nice. we went for, for a side recce. <laughs> so this is uh, the largest grave in Singapore or Maybe even in Southeast Asia, this is Ong Sam Leung's grave. Mm. And yeah, so that's how big it is, wow. right? Uh, wow. Do you have any more photos from, from the grave? Yeah. yeah Look man. at that. Wow. That's, that's a, quite a huge parameter, man. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Wow. Like you can 
have a lot of bodies there. Mm. So he's buried there with his wife and then um, like just a short distance away, he's got other family members buried in 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 this north, mm. this piece of land. Mm. Yeah. So you guys can go to Bukit Brown anytime, man. Yeah. You know, go in the day, uh, go walk around, <laughs> don't, bring him. Don't. Yeah. Don't, never. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is there a reason why you would never go to Bukit Brown? Yeah, Mujahid, why you shake your head? <laughs> I mean, like every time someone tells me a story about Bukit Brown, I cannot for the life of me just ever want to experience that feeling <laughs> so I just don't want to go there at all <laughs> but you've been to Lim Chu Kang Cemetery so, yeah. so what's the difference I mean Lim Chu Kang Cemetery is not even that scary yeah but Bukit Brown isn't really no I just hate Bukit Brown <laughs> <laughs> uh, somebody just said of his uh, on, on our show oh. um, that I love Bukit Brown wow yeah oh. So yeah, <laughs> hey, have you been to Bukit Brown, Indra? No, I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> I like a uh, a turtle living in his shell. <laughs> okay, we will go one day. In, in the day, in the day, I can bring you around. Okay, sure, sure. Yeah, and then you know you can just look see and, and uh, look look see see yeah look look see see like like share share. <laughs> yeah, but no, it's 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 a very unique place. Mm. Uh, and I, I find it very very calming somehow. Mm. Yeah. Okay, when when That's you see about. Me. Cemetery being haunted, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, isn't the place of like a place of, like like a cemetery that like this is a place of burial where the dead would find peace or yeah. rest in peace? But why? Why is the place haunted? I I don't know. I was mm. found cemeteries very calming. Mm, okay. Yeah. But uh, at at certain point also that that that, you, that there are a few happenings, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, I I mean everywhere you know you go you would find that mm. um maybe it's lost souls maybe it's uh I I don't know but and it's like a cliche where people would I mean if 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 a group of friends if they want to go for adventure or especially at night hey let's go let's go to the cemetery lah yeah <laughs> you know you know again uh yeah I mean just just a question that strikes me here a place like a cem- like a cemetery is known to be a resting place for the for the dead yeah right. And that's where they find their peace, but how come it's still haunt? I mean, it's still placed where people can see sides of entities. Mm. Mm. Yeah, but you know, like I said, it could be just lost souls. You know, they they mm. have got nowhere to go. Yeah, yeah. They have not um, entered the the other world. You know. Mm. Yeah, so they're still in our world in a way. I see. Yeah. Mm. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Anything else you want to ask, bro? I know. That, I think that that that's, that 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 will clear my doubt. Okay. Um, we're moving along pretty quick. All right. So mm. let's just go into the real or fake segment. Yep. Um, I need to read my script for this one because I promised the person that sent me this video. Okay. That I will not reveal where this is. Okay. Who took the video? Which. Yeah, like which part of Singapore and all? It's an mm. it's an island. That's all I can tell you. Okay. And I'm very prone to giving spoilers and just giving away information. So don't, I'm going to read my script. Okay. Don't worry, I will shut your mouth. Yes. Uh, with <laughs> with anything here in the studio. <laughs> okay. Let me read my script. In this real or fake segment, mm. I have exclusive video footage. That's me. Uh, for all of you, <laughs> I've been asked not to disclose the name of the island or location. I remember this. Mm. This video was taken by a security guard on a rainy night. Mm. He was feeling uncomfortable, so he whipped out his phone, and literally, you know, what looks like two women in colonial dresses, they made an appearance. Okay, so here he is. It's raining on this island, wow. and then. He's feeling uncomfortable. And then he pans to the right. He's not sure whether he will even pick up anything on his mobile phone camera. And just about now, something appears. Mm. Okay, if you missed it, don't oh. worry because we're going to show you a replay. And then we're going to do one more in slow motion. Here we go. There you see this. It's, wow. it's walking down the slope. Yeah, and we have it in slow motion now.
this time we have zoomed in so this looks to me right there's two entities one in black and one in white mm. you the viewers what you guys think let us know okay in the comments um Oof. indra yeah what are your thoughts i don't know man it seems like like a, a kind of like play or like a kind of act being out uh, uh, been act out there okay but yeah here's my question if i've put in all the effort right to yep. capture um two fake ghosts on camera mm -hmm. wouldn't he have lingered longer wouldn't he have tried to zoom in mm. yeah but it seems that he he moved away yeah he moved away from the when when upon he sees yeah but that's the thing yeah he doesn't see it Oh, he doesn't see because it. if he if he did, he would have panned back. What? Oh yeah, yeah. true, true, yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. So this guy, obviously, he didn't see anything mm. uh, on his phone. Mm. Maybe he was just distracted by something else. Yeah, true. Mm. Yeah, and then therefore, you know, those two entities, mm. or, or maybe it was one. I I don't know, but but it, it seems like the, the the like the other entity that is that is in white is wearing a you know the British hat. Mm -hmm. that for like a woman in oh know, okay the powdered wig yeah yeah correct mm. yeah I don't know how to pronounce it actually <laughs> <laughs> so luckily Mujahid here can help yeah. me <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you think Mujahid um, you keep saying this too I only see one okay oh you only see one yeah ah. like huh. and it's not like you said it looks like colonial dresses mm -hmm. I think they look more like those those Korean handbooks that they use Korean yeah like they wow. look like some emperor from somewhere mm. Mm. could be like Japanese. Japanese Japanese have that kind of uh, no Japanese should be wearing kimono bro yeah, yeah. yeah. that is true that is true yeah. for once I pronounce it right man <laughs> 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 yeah but yeah man uh, it looks it looks to me it, they are wearing a colonial costume mm -hmm. and with that hat that like you see that's not the, the hat of a lady the powder yeah ring. so I I think it's fake bro I huh. think it's fake. Okay. Mm. I, I don't want to like shatter people's <laughs> heart out there. But I think it's fake. Whatever. <laughs> okay, you ask, you ask so much. <laughs> but what's your take on that? My take is that it's real because if it was fake, mm. then it wouldn't have just been one second on, on the entities mm. or entity. It would have like lingered longer, I feel. Mm, it, I the see. guy would have tried to zoom in. Yeah, it's just too... Uh, and, and and here's the thing, is that it's not gone viral because nobody else has this. Oh, yeah. yeah that means it's fresh, dude. I just said exclusive. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Do yeah, you yeah, not yeah. know the meaning of the? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I I tend to like fade away. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So nobody has it. <laughs> yeah, wow. Yeah, and we obviously are not gonna make money off this, yeah. but you know we, uh, I've promised that. Uh, I'm not gonna disclose where it is. Yeah. Or, yeah. Mm. Okay, we have uh we have comment from our viewers here, mm -hmm. uh stating that I saw the ghost with a shadow, but how come, how come, that ghost have no shadow? Uh, oh, I think referring to this uh. Yeah, but it also it's depends so where where the the light source is, right? Yeah. So if the light source is from a certain the, angle, then the the light looked like it was coming from a street lamp yeah mm. so there has to be a shadow on the wall maybe that's why you saw two things huh yeah but one is in a white figure and one's like in a like dark blue navy kind of a costume i you don't see? see the dark blue or whatever huh mm. okay our eyes are playing tricks again <laughs> okay uh daniel ali here comment uh wow a black and white figure appeared at the same time though that's real to be honest Love your every Friday haunted our podcast. Thank you, Daniel. Yeah. Thank Ali. you, Daniel. Mm. Yeah, mm. I think most viewers would, would agree that it's real. Yeah. But mm. then there's some here that say it's fake. Mm. Uh, like Andy says, yeah, I also think it was fake because ghosts have no shadow. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. So. Mm. Um, Melanie says that I saw two, two, a man and a woman in colonial dressing. There, there you go. But it could be, you know, if if it's there a you go. Thank man, you, my it's, if it's yeah. a male and female, mm. and then the men are always in 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 like a maybe a tux, a black tux. 
Uh-huh. Yeah, and then the female would be in in a white dress. Okay, what's the national color of uh of uh in in UK or England or those coming countries coming from the UK United Kingdom? Red, white, and blue. No, I mean it's blue, right? Is that that's their national their, their, their national like during colonial time, yeah during colonial time it right? It was blue, yeah navy I blue think. kind, yeah. But, right? Yeah, but why would they? I, I mean, she's in a dress, right? So she's gonna be in a white dress. No, maybe? I'm, I'm referring to the guy man the uh. man yeah so i think it, it is a figure of both uh from the they are wearing the colonial costume mm, mm. okay um june okay. says uh or oh, is it john j-u-n uh yeah. is that st john's island looks like it if i'm if i'm not wrong <laughs> okay we have a very interesting uh doesn't look like st john's to me uh comment here from our viewers uh, <laughs> yeah. by estelle all right She said that in Victorian or Edwardian clothes, that means mm. yeah. referring yeah. to the clothes of the two. Yeah, mm. maybe like 19th century. Mm. Era. Yeah, or 18th centuries. Yeah, uh. mm. yeah, late late 18th centuries. Ah, uh. could yeah. be, could be. Mm. Nice. Okay, we have a very interesting uh, comment here by Joe Ahmad. <laughs> He said that both are female. <laughs> sure, no, <laughs> oh, you know. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Interesting, interesting. Both are female. Body figures? Maybe. But one is taller, no? You see? Why, it can't be a taller <laughs> female? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Chirong Hills. Uh, uh, command. Cosplay, maybe? Cosplay? Hey, I, I think this is my old secondary school mate. Chirong Fu. Chirong. Yeah, yeah. Chirong Hey, if you are my old school mate, Give Hello. It. Say yes. Say yes. Yeah. <laughs> Say yes. Yeah, because it'd be so awesome. Mm. Wow. Nice. Flashback or what? Old school mate. Huh? Old school mate. That yeah. They still remember you. Huh? Yeah. And you no, still like, remember no, them. Not old school mate. Old classmate. Oh, classmate. Yeah. Oh, definitely yeah, must remember you lah. Mm. Who never remember you during school, right? Why? No lah. <laughs> just, just pulling your leg. <laughs> come over there. Smack you. <laughs> Oh yeah, he says yes. I am. Yay! Yay. Thank you for tuning in, Haunted <laughs> Hour. And uh, Junaidi says, "What's up, Noble Boy?" Hmm. Uh, if you guys want to, if you know about Police Academy, and you know, you know that it's haunted. Hmm. I've got an old podcast that features Junaidi, and hmm. we talk about this, um, the hair that people will find on their beds. Yeah, wow. so you can find it on Spotify, Apple Music, and Google Music. Mm. Okay, so we're gonna go on to our sausage party here in the studio. <laughs> nice. <got> three meals. <laughs> um, yeah, we we I want to know more about about Mujahid's experiences, right? Um, at what age did this paranormal stuff start for you? If you really want to know, as young, I think as young as about uh, six years old was my very first encounter with something that was paranormal. Okay. Yeah. Um, this is a really um, short story that I remember vividly. Mm-hmm. That uh, it was at my old house. Yeah. And uh, I was just playing with my toys in the living room. And then it was around like seven-ish p.m. Mm-hmm. And you know... Uh, around that time is usually you know Margaret time. Uh, it's it known to be dawn, eh? dawn, right? Yeah, dawn. Yeah. And for the viewers that don't know, um, the Margaret time would be around 7 p.m. to 7:30 yeah. p.m. And, and, and that's for the beginning, eh? for y'all to pray. The sun sunset. Yeah. Ah. This when mm. the sun's about to set. And mm. usually, like you know, superstitious moms will like say, oh, "Don't play, don't watch TV around this time. Mm. Uh, don't go outside. Keep the door closed." Like mm. I mentioned last week, don't go out. In between seven to eight, get to the moment will catch you. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Auspicious time, lah. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So it was around that period, mm. and then, um, uh, you know, uh, so my balcony, the windows were open, mm. so we let the wind in, and uh, I was playing with, I think, like my little toy action figure things, and then like I saw a kind of figure i don't know how to explain the shape mm-hmm. because it's something i've never seen before in my life wow and like wow but it came it came rising from the uh the balcony into my uh house mm. so the window. it was from outside and then it came into the house yeah mm. and 
I, I, I just like tried to ignore it, but I feel it like it kept observing me as I was playing. Mm. So I didn't know what to do. So I, uh, I just kept quiet and everyone else was inside that rooms. Okay. My parents, my siblings. So uh, I was like, okay, whatever. Just continue playing. And then it went inside the balcony. Mm. The window slowly shut. Wow. Yeah, okay. It's so I had, my, I had my back turned mm. from the balcony. Yeah. But I can hear the windows being shut. Mm. So I saw it in the corner of my eye. Mm. It walked into my room. And I don't know. I like tremble, froze up. Mm-hmm. Didn't know what the, what what else. What am I gonna do? I was shaking. Wow, and uh, I still had my toy in my hand. And uh, I see. I, w- I slowly walked into my room. I opened the door, mm-hmm. and uh, my brother was uh, my brother was praying, mm-hmm. and I was like. Uh, don't disturb my brother mm. and it just left wow so it left on its own it didn't it didn't come back no and how scared were you when when all this was going down oh, I was shaking I was gripping mm. my to- I, I almost popped its head off <laughs> the toy yeah I mm. almost popped the toy's head off because I was gripping it so tight yeah and I was mm. shaking and when I walked in I was like shuffling my feet so people thought I, <laughs> my mm. brother thought maybe I was the ghost because I was shuffling my feet a lot. Mm. And and where was this house? Uh, this house was at uh, Loyang Gardens. Oh, Loyang Gardens. Yeah, it's Loyang Valley. No, no, it's near. Uh, you know, behind E Avenue where E Avenue is right now, the new downtown East area. Yeah, yeah, great. Mm-hmm. So mm. it's behind there. Oh, uh, it's mm. an old condo. Mm. Okay, and. So then, we moved out because it was too spooky. I see. Mm. Yeah. Uh, what else happened in the house? Because you said it was spooky, so I'm sure like other incidents happened. There were other incidents, but I was too young to remember a lot of them because none of them really like I experienced it. It was more like my siblings, my parents. Mm-hmm. Mm. So the only one that I experienced was the one that came from the balcony. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you spoke about your siblings and and your parents. Yeah. Your your mom Lisa, right? So I know her yeah. personally. Yeah. Uh, she can see things, right? Oh, very well. Yeah, very well. Like not only does she see things, she can describe to you whether it's a male or female. Um, and she's. We were chatting earlier on WhatsApp, and then she was telling me that she experienced some stuff at the house as well in Pasir Ris, but. Do you have any experiences from that house? It's not the, the present one now, but the one before. Um, there was one, but it it was more like a nightmare, like turned real in okay. a sense. Uh, I remember one time, because again, I was really young. I was sleeping in my parents' room. And uh, I wake up and uh, I hear like, noises and stuff it sounded like uh like laser guns right from uh from halo mm. <laughs> <laughs> what a way to describe it eh? <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm not kidding it sounded like uh oh wow uh guns from uh like halo mm. and things like that and you can hear like um there's the one alien in halo called like the elite they go mm. like whoa, whoa, whoa. i kept hearing that over and over again. Wow. And uh, so at the, so my parents' bed, Mm-mm. at the foot of it is a, a, a space and then to the right is the hallway to the door. Mm. Mm-hmm. So I could hear like the door opening and then uh, all like the aliens from the Halo mm. came rushing in. Like, How could, do they look like? Do you, do, do you, Kind of like remember how they do they they look like. Um, you... There was the tiny guy mm. with the weird gas mask on his face. Wow. Uh, uh, 
like they were they came into the room like mm. bleeding and stuff with the blue blood mm. and mm. i was like this i'm dreaming right because i yeah. thought maybe i was in a dream mm. like this can't be real at all mm. so but like the whole room was my parents room like i was still in my parents room everything was as it was when i fell asleep because usually in dreams when you dream of places and yeah. things like that there's always like things that are slightly changed mm. but nothing has changed so i was like uh okay and then uh you could see like and then after that like they, they fell over and they become dead corpses on the floor and i was like okay Sound like a sci-fi Hollywood movie. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I, I, wow. I get up. Wow. And I walk towards the corpse and then they just fade away. Just like that? Yeah. Like <laughs> like in Avengers when they turn to dust, they just fade. Wow. I was, like, I was right about to touch it because it, it looked so real, real. to me. Yeah. Because wow. and then like it just faded away mm. and the door was open. By itself, the door was open. Oh, at that moment, uh. yeah. Mm. Wow. And I fell asleep knowing that the door was definitely closed. The the icon was on. Mm. But when I woke up, well, woke Spooky, up. Spooky man. Spooky yeah. Man. I don't even know whether cool, that's right? re- that was real or not. <laughs> <laughs> like you think it's spooky? I think it's damn cool. Yeah. 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 yeah I know. It's like a sci-fi movie kind yeah. of like. But I experience. was like seven, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but when when you witness it live, I don't think so. It's cool, man. I don't know. You ha- you have that guts to actually face that. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, that's something I live for. You know. No, no. I'm, I, I'm not referring to you. I'm referring to in like in general, lah. You, you definitely. Oh, you mean you mean a normal person? Yeah. <laughs> you are not normal, bro. Okay, that's why you're a paranormal investigator. <laughs> yes. Good comeback, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so. Would you say that okay because you experience stuff from a young age would you yeah. say that you're not afraid of these entities now Oh no I'm definitely very much afraid very much afraid Okay I see. Yeah. Hmm. But I thought I thought with that uh, with all those experiences right you are kind of like toughened up by that Yeah or, or you be numb hmm cuz I'm used to it but I always still be scared because I never know what's going to happen Is right. is the feeling of not knowing mm. that scares me it's not the actual thing that mm. i get you i get you i see yeah so you you have no complete control yeah of what's going to happen next right yeah. wow cuz once once i get control once i know what's going on then yeah i won't be too scared anymore mm. yeah Mm-mm. let's talk about admiralty park <laughs> oh. um i want to say that i know a lot about the place but i i don't Uh, only been there once in my life. Mm. What year did this paranormal experience of yours happen? This happened like two years ago. Mm. Okay, very recent. 20, Not that long. Twenty nineteen. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So, can you give us like the lead up to it? Like, what made you all go there? So, it was you know cousins' day out. My a few of my cousins just got their license, so you know. Cool. <laughs> Um, we took the cars and we decided, you know what? Let's go for a drive. Let's go adventuring. Mm. It was uh, it was like already around midnight at the time. So our first stop was actually the uh, Chua Chu Kang Cemetery. Okay, mm. that was our first stop, and a bit anticlimactic. Nothing happened. So we we thought like, you know what? Maybe we should uh, we should head on to Emirati Park instead, mm. Mm. and. Uh, Uh, we were like, okay, let's go. Why not? And uh, so there were three cars. Me and my cousin were the last car. We let the other two lead in front of us. Mm. So I was already dead tired at that point in time. Mm. Like I was ready to just go home. So uh, on the way to Amaruti Park, I was snoozing. I was just asleep. But there was a point where we stopped. Mm. And uh, my cousin called my cousin, the driver, mm-hmm. and uh, he like she had a really worried voice. Like, okay, I cannot tell you now, but we will tell you when we get home. Just follow us, and then we can go back. I was wow. like, okay. Uh, she never go into great detail, huh? No. So everyone was 
my cousin was the driver who he was panicking uh. mm. he didn't know like mm. so what's going on what's going on something happened or something yeah, yeah. and uh, never mind so we <laughs> I don't know why but we still continued to go towards Admiralty Park and then uh, when we reached the gate to the car park mm. that's when I felt it I was like okay something's something's weird something's strange what do you feel on. like a sweep of energy that rushing through it you it wasn't or? energy hmm. it was more like energy was taken out draining you yeah wow like uh, okay like I got really really like if you thought I was sleepy before hmm. like I was dozing I was like okay I want, hmm. I want to go home I want to go home hmm. I'm ready to sleep yeah but you know I, I know that these entities have got they have the, the ways to to zap our our energy so it's not just it, like your electronic devices yeah but just us alone you know if you're if you're in a bad place then you feel very drained mm. that is is probably the reason why mm. so what happened after that so once we reached the gate um my cousin who was the navigator yeah. she was uh, she was like let's go back to the east let's go mm. so we just made one u turn and we just left mm. So okay, and my cousin, my uh, the one who drove my car, mm. he was still panicking. He had no idea what was going on. He was so oblivious to everything, because because he was constantly like, "What's happening? What's going on? Like, he, just tell me, lah. Just tell me." He's frustrated. Me. He's very frustrated. He was like mm. annoyed at everyone at the moment in time. Yeah, I I can understand because you all are so excited to to go in. Then now things change. Yeah, yeah. I I, I mean. I can I mean, understand that, but it's mm. kind of stupid because like he couldn't read the room or anything. Like everyone ah. was like, "It's okay, we will tell you later." Just uh, uh, watch a du'a, read prayers. Mm. Okay, and then he was still like, "What's going on?" Like he was angry. Mm. So I was like, I "Okay, see. okay, see. whatever." Okay, mm. so then we made our way back. Mm. So uh, on the way back, we were on uh, the KPE highway. Okay, and uh, from uh, the journey back, it the roads were completely like empty. Wow. Like, uh, maybe we would see like one or two big trucks mm-hmm. coming in. Yeah, but other than that, the road was empty. You reckon this is about three o'clock in the morning? Yeah, right. So, uh, us at the back, mm. two other cars in front. So we were driving, and then the whole highway got really foggy, mm. and then like even inside the car was fogged up. Our windows were all fogged up. In the car, yeah. Wow, mm. strange. It started becoming yeah. really hazy, and uh, only your car or, or all three uh, cars? All three cars. Wow. So. At the same time, wow. when things started to get foggy, mm. we lost the two cars in front of us. We mm. we didn't know where mm. they were. Yeah, but these cars were in front of you, right? Yeah, and then visible. I mean, they're really, they're yeah. really visible, right, in front of them. They yeah. were so like it was us, two cars in front, but mm. there was a bit of a distance between us, mm. Mm. right? And then these cars just disappeared. So it was after like a turn mm-hmm. in the highway, a slight turn, and yeah. then gone. So uh, my cousin, he was like, eh, where are they? Mm. So the pedal, yeah. vroom, we sped up for like about 30 seconds. We tried to find them. Yeah. We couldn't find them. Tried to catch up with them. La. Yeah. Mm. We just continued driving. Yeah. And, uh, and then we waited about like a minute or two. Mm. And then they appeared behind us. Two two of the cars just appeared behind us. Wow! And eh, well, that was strange. Yeah, man. Okay, spooky. Whatever. Mm. Then um, we let them go in front of us, mm. and then uh, on the way back. So um, the plan was to go back to Ubi. That's where one of my cousin lives. Mm. Yeah. So usually, uh, from that point in KPE towards. Uh, Will be mm. usually takes about like thirty minutes, mm. but it felt like two hour, a two hour drive. Mm. Wow! Okay, 
we were non-stop driving and then uh i believe by this point right i believe right by this point you and your cousin who were in that car yeah can't wait for the post mortem or what kind of a uh, discussion that you're going to oh, because get from here from the vibes that we got from the phone call we thought like exactly from the beginning of your trip you want to get more info right yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. cuz when my cousin called my mm. uh, my cousin who was driving uh she was like panicking you know that like we thought we thought that someone actually passed away that's why we were rushing oh. so like okay Well, amazing. Yeah. So then, the journey back, all the cars felt heavy. Mm, I bet. Like, and then, yeah. like, uh, my cousin, uh, who was driving, he said that he's putting a lot of pressure on the gas pedal, and the car was uh, sticking at 65. Wouldn't mm. move. Wow. I was like, okay. So we went back. Mm-hmm to uh ubi and that's when uh my sister my sister was in a different car she mm. was in the car in front the the same car which uh that called uh my car mm. she was there and once we reached there everyone was waiting downstairs at the void deck mm. and uh once we reached home we were like okay before we entered the house everybody wash your feet wash your hands everything mm. okay so we did And then um, we went inside, and they said, "Don't talk about anything until we enter the room." So I was like confused, ah, uh, because yeah, <laughs> half Why? the time I was asleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so we went into the room. Mm. We uh, uh, we made sure that uh, her parents mm. were not there because we can't tell them anything. We're not digging news. Screw you! <laughs> <all night. laughs> yeah. They were already wondering why all of us were at the house yeah. at three in the morning. It's mm. like, okay, so we went inside, and then um. So uh, my sister mm. and the ones who were driving said, "Okay, sit down. Listen to us. This is what happened. This is why we actually turned back." So, on the way to Emirati Park, you know, mm. there's a There's a prison there. Yeah, and uh, the first driver, the car in front, his GPS started getting wonky. Mm. So he thought maybe uh, the app was uh, bugging or something. Yeah. So okay, he changed app to from Google Maps to Waze. Okay. And then when he used Waze, it doing it started doing it again. Started bugging out, mm. saying that. We will reach in two minutes. Mm. We were quite far from everybody's part. I see. So we were. Uh, so, by when we reached by the gate of the prison, yeah, his GPS kept saying him, uh, "Turn left, turn left, turn left," and on the left is the big gate. Why well, is that strange, man? Yeah. With the with the prison, mm. and one light was turned on, in, in the window, wow. and uh, he said he didn't want to look. He knew the light was on. He didn't want to look. But is the is the main gate open? Can 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 anyone enter? Where the prison? Yeah, prison. Yeah. No. No. So is so is a protected area, lah. Yeah. I think wow. so. It has to be. No, no. I mean, <laughs> I mean, if the gate was open, anyone can just the yeah, will yeah just no, go out. Right? If there's a guard, right? There's a guard or not? No, if there's a, like a, like a security guard or sentry right in front of the prison. Yeah, I, I mean, you've or, seen. Oh, is it uh, an abandoned uh, prison? No, it's, no, no, no. it's still used now. Yeah, okay, I see. Okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> But I, we didn't know why the GPS. Yeah, because us. the GPS keep on telling yeah. go left, go left. Yeah. So maybe there's a gate open for them to enter, right? No. Yeah. yeah but <laughs> it doesn't lead to Emirati Park. Oh, mm. yeah. Okay, okay, strange, strange. Yeah. So, yeah. so this entity or, or entities at play somehow wanted you all to go into the prison. Yeah, mm. for mm. I don't know what's the reasoning behind it. Lit- uh, literally, like none of us have any relation to the prison at all. Wow. Yeah, okay, we are good boys. Yeah, <laughs> which is good. Keep it that way, man. <laughs> Keep it that way. Uh, 
you know, you, you were talking about the haze filling the car, right? Mm, uh, yeah. And I don't know, man. You know, you, you talk about the, it's the KPE, right? Yeah. I, I'm wondering whether there's been road accidents that have been caused because, you know, due to this, due to these entities at play. And then, mm. you know, can you imagine you're driving and then the road in front of you is filled with haze, you can't see much. Yeah. And then your car starts filling with this mm. uh, mystical haze. And then, you know, you get into an, an accident. Especially if you start start panicking, right? Yeah. And you drive really fast. I don't know. It's just just a thought. I, I don't know how many accidents there are along the KPE. Not sure either. Yeah, but uh, it can happen, bro. Because I think a lot of ex- road accidents ha- which happen at night or even during the day are due to certain kind of uh, weird weird uh, disturbance mm, right, yeah. from all these entities. Yeah. It can happen. So, what was the conclusion about Admiralty Park. Did you guys ever go back? Um, after that whole thing, no. <laughs> <laughs> would you want to go back one day? I I would love to. I mean, it seems like a cool place to be, but yeah. nowhere can be your tour guide there. <laughs> I wouldn't be there once. Yeah, but I, if I'm not wrong, Republic Polytechnic mm. at the back of it is Admiralty Park, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if any of you are from RP. Uh, and you've had some experiences at this park itself. Can you please leave a comment, and then you know we can we can read later, yeah. wow. either during the show or after. Yep. Mm. Okay, let's talk about something a little closer to you, if you don't mind. Okay, yeah. if you don't feel like like sharing, I understand. Mm. But um, if you could, then. You know, I'll, yeah. I'll be very grateful, and it'll be very, it'll be very beneficial for our viewers this, because at least they can This story hits very close it, to yeah. home for me. Yeah, yeah. It's um, it involves your mom. It involves mm. your sister. Yeah. Mm. Now, unfortunately, it was your mom that was possessed first. Am I right? Yeah. What happened on on this day? Okay, when did this happen? It happened at home. Okay, when? Um, this was. Uh, 2015 okay. around okay. there so mm. a bit of uh, context my sister was about to get married that year oh. mm. okay that's the first story okay and then uh, at home it was just me my mom my sister and my brother mm. so the only uh, four of us at home yeah I don't know where my dad was I forgot where he was so um, again this is around the most auspicious time for us Muslims. Yeah. Around the 7 to 8 p.m. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So it was around that time. Mm. I was outside in the living room on the computer. Yeah. And there was a call on the, hu- on the house phone. And okay. I picked up and then uh, it was my dad. He was like, mm. uh, can you, can you get Umi, which is my mom? Mm. Can you put it on the phone? I was like, okay, okay. So I went inside uh, my mom's room, gave her the phone. Mm. And I noticed she was just lying down on the bed, just breathing like... That's scary, is that, bro? So I was like, okay. Yeah, man. But I didn't, I didn't think much at, uh, at the point in time. Mm. I thought maybe, okay, she, she's a bit sick. No how's, her. how's her facial expression? Blank. Blank. How's then, her eyes? Wide open. She was Wide like, open. And like, oh, her face got really pale. So I thought, yeah, she she's just sick. Yeah. Not, yeah. Uh, not feeling too well. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. I, I told my dad, uh, uh, Umi not feeling well. Uh, okay. But uh, then my dad was like, just give the phone. I was like, okay. Okay. So I gave the phone to my dad. She took the phone. My mom took the phone. Even though she, she said, yeah. I like she was like, yeah. she took the phone and then she held it up to her ear and was like, <sighs> I was okay, so I just left the room. Mm-hmm. You left the room. Yeah, I left. The, I, left I gave her the phone. I left the room. <laughs> why? 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 Yeah. Why, 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 why did you stay? Know. I want to know why. Yeah. Oh no! Is I, it because your 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 job is done? You just pass the phone. That's it. This is my yeah, job. Like my job's done. I can go back to playing my games. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> the... Yeah, but what what you like concerned about no, her health, mom? Her no, health or no. her condition? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, may, okay, yeah. may, 
maybe maybe it's some something that is that doesn't trigger at that point of time maybe i can understand yeah. mujahid uh, point of view here right yeah. maybe it doesn't trigger at the point of time maybe like, it's just something that ah my my head is blank right now you know i felt nothing yeah, yeah, yeah. at the point in time mm, okay. okay so so you you leave the room you you go out you continue playing your games and then what happened yeah and then uh i see my my sister went into the room okay not shortly after i left and then my sister knew what was going on yeah. immediately so i was like oh okay mm. and then she called my brother my brother also went inside yeah and then after a while both of them uh came outside and my brother told me like okay enjoy it. go inside your room uh watch your door mm. So recite your prayers, uh, Yeah. Okay. So doa means uh, prayers. 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 Mm, okay. Yeah. And then uh, just keep quiet. Try to sleep. Try to sleep. Sleep yeah. it off. Yeah. Okay. Because I I think my brother was I think his rationalization is that okay, he Mujay is still a bit too young for this or like we don't want him to see what's going on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I said okay. So I went inside the room. Hmm. And then uh, I I laid down. Okay, I was too scared to turn off the lights, mm. so it was really bright inside my room. And uh, I just recited, and then like I could hear screaming. Who oh, scream? It was from my mom. Wow! I could hear the screaming from my mom. And how and loud is that? I mean, you, from from you, your, your your the way the way the, the place where you are. So uh, inside that room. Um. In my house, mm. my parents' room are two rooms away from my room. Wow, that's so really there's loud, one man. there's one room in between, mm. and yeah. the screaming felt right. It, it felt like right. It was in my ear, pitching at your ear. Yeah, wow. It was just shrieking. I was like, okay, I'll just mm. close my eyes, close my eyes, and then just try to sleep, ignore you, everything. Are you scared? I was terrified. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would be mm. too. Yeah, and especially when you don't know what's going on. Because you can't see, you can't go out. All, all yeah. you have is just yeah, whatever so, you're you're listening to. So I hear, I think my dad went inside the room, and my my dad came home. He rushed back home. Yeah, he rushed mm. back home. He went inside the room, and then my sister came home. And your another sister? Maybe you yeah, have another sister. Lah. My sister, the one that's getting married. I have two sisters. So the, just now you mentioned about. A sister who who is in in that very house yeah. know that the, uh, there's something present yeah. at that moment. So that is yeah. a different sister. Yeah. So this sister is the one that is getting married lah. That yeah. just reached home. Okay. The one that just reached home is mm. the one that's getting married. Mm. Yeah. Okay. And she the the most stupidest thing she could do. She immediately went inside my parents' room. Okay, oh, man. So that's when the the gin the and. Uh, entity the entity yeah correct transferred from my mom to her wow hmm. okay she put herself exposed yeah, yeah. wow okay I see so okay. then I was still in my room mm. and then uh, my sister this, this was after like two hours yeah this was around like two hours later my sister came inside the room Your room, and, yeah, my room. Okay, uh, the one that's not going to get married. Okay, okay, yeah. She came in, her eyes were bawling, like she was crying and everything. And I was like, "Why? What's up? What's going on?" Yeah. And she said, "Uh, he wants to talk to you." Who's he? Yeah, who's he? The the jinn. The the demonic entity. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So so the jinn wants wow. wanted to talk to you. What about? So I I was also wondering the same thing. Like, okay, why? Okay, and then I went inside. I see every every everybody inside who, where inside your inside mother's my, room. Everybody was crying. Wow! Mm. Wow! And okay. My sister, the one mm. that got possessed, mm. she was sitting down on the floor, legs crossed, eyes closed. And as soon as I entered, uh, she was like, "Mujahid." Come here. I said okay. Mm. So I sat down in front of her, and 
she said, uh, but at this point in time, I knew it wasn't my sister that was talking. Was mm, mm. Yo, did the voice change? No, mm. the voice didn't change. Mm. So uh, the jinn asked me, like, do you know of the prophet, mm-hmm. uh, the prophet Muhammad? Okay. And I, was, and I said, yeah. And she said, do you know of his uh, companions? I was like, yeah. And then she said, they are right here. Oh, mm, wow. And wow. I, I didn't know what to say. Mm. And, mm. and then like, it just felt like surreal. Uh, yeah. Like to have something like that okay. mention the prophet's name. Mm. And uh, I was like, okay. Oh. And then. But what was the reaction of other family members? Everyone was crying, crying I mean, in like fear, crying for for, for man. There's there's a different kind of uh, it's crying. Like man. the it's like crying because they know that mm. is crying in his presence, that sort I of see. thing. Right. Wow. So then, because of that, like, uh, she asked me like. Will you promise, like, and this is not mm. the jinn talking anymore. This okay. was, um, the Your prophet. Sister. No, this was the prophet that was talking to me. Wow. And um, she, uh, he asked me, um, can you promise me something? Mm. I was like, okay. And then, uh, he said, can you promise me? Mm. To be good to everyone that everyone around you, mm. and promise me you'll stop. Uh, uh, promise me you'll uh, do good in school. Promise me that you will provide a future for your children wow. and things like that. Right. Okay. One thing about this kind of uh, entities, uh, yeah, uh, we 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 don't know where the source. The, the 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 real source of these kind of entities, mm-hmm. and it's it, it 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 may it may sound scary to some, and it may sound kind of a a, a kind of like a revelation kind kind yeah. of like experience, you know. But yeah, I mean, knowing the fact that your your sister, right, was being possessed, or you you claim that is she's being possessed, um. This kind of entity should have a kind of very aggressive approach towards yeah. things, right? Mm. Yeah, right? because and, and it, yeah, most of the the stories mm. or most of the stuff I've seen, right, mm. it's always aggressive. So this one is different. Yeah, yeah, it's very soft, mm. and you know, the, there's there's a very tender approach there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this was after the whole aggressive part. Oh, there, okay. There this is, is this yeah, is, because the earlier part they were shouting, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. your mom was shouting, right? Okay, so hours, yeah. it was aggressive, and then after that, it became kind. Hello, it, because uh, hmm. when the hmm. when this was after everything, and then like my sister told me the whole story. Uh, when my sister went inside the room, like hmm. she knew what was going on. She recited the Quran and everything, yeah. and uh, she called my cousin, hmm. who was a Islamic figure. He he's an imam. Yeah. Like him, yeah. Uh, imam in uh, in English we can translate as a religious teacher, lah. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? yeah. So and then he told me like, okay, mm. your first first thing you should do is try to convert the jinn to Islam. That is there such thing? Oh, okay. I don't know. Wow. <laughs> we we tried. It's, it's really heavy here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, wow. Um, okay. Yeah, and one thing that. Uh, the jinn was really scared of mm. was my two cats. Mm. So I have two cats at home, and uh, oh yeah, I, cats, yeah, I, yeah. Mm. But you you mentioned before, right, Noel, about cats seeing entities. Yeah, I, I mean, most animals do, you know. Yeah. Um, they, but, I've always believed that they had, they have that ability. Mm. Yeah, but cats seem to be the ones that are. Uh, Kind of fierce towards towards entities. I mean, dogs mm. were how yeah they they may run away, mm. but cats. I, I don't know, man. They they are they are just different, I guess. 
Wow. Yeah, but, but the thing is, for cats, right, uh, they are very loving animals. Lah, of right? course, yeah. But once they start to see all these entities, I think they will react in a very aggressive manner, I guess. Mm. Do you think yeah, so, bro? I think so. Hmm. Wow. We have a lot of comments here by our... <laughs> probably we can go yeah, into but, comments. Okay, okay. Yeah, so. um, how did this end though? Did, did it oh, end yeah, sorry, on sorry, a good yeah. note? Okay, so how <laughs> it ended, I was already there. This was after like I got mm. asked the questions and everything. Mm. So my dad asked the final two questions. Mm. So um, he asked like... Because uh, uh, this was right after my aunt passed away. Oh, yeah. Okay. And uh, this was also about five years after my grandfather passed away. Mm. So it was right around the time. And then my dad asked, "What? Where? Uh, about the two of them? Uh, how are they mm-hmm. doing?" Mm-hmm. And uh, the Jin said, "They are doing fine. Don't need to worry about them. Just keep praying for them." Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then this is a bit anticlimactic, but mm. the Jin said, "Okay." I'm gonna leave your sister. Also, be prepared to catch her. She's going to fall, and then just left. And my sister just falling, fainted. Falling, falling. Oh, yeah, because she was uh, sitting up, sitting up, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then she just, whoop. I see. Yeah, she she was drained by that energy, lah. Yeah. Yeah. Um, wow. Hmm. Interesting, though. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah. Bro. I I I like this because it was aggressive, and then after that, it the, the tone mm. changed. Yeah. But you know, I. I've also um, observed um, religious people trying to get entities out from from folks, mm. right? And then um, it's always very aggressive, and then yeah. it's very vulgar, and all. After that, when when that thing is weak, mm. and then it starts trying to negotiate, and you know, starts being very nice. Mm. So that's the my takeaway, you know, like um, that I I can put a link to. Yeah. Yeah. Uh yeah, you were saying we have comments. Yeah, we have a comment by a few of our viewers here. Uh, okay, by Linda, by Linda here. Is is it Jin in disguise? Disguise, disguise in what form? Mm. Yeah, maybe yeah. Because from what I know is that mm. Jin cannot be disguised as the prophet, mm. right? Mm-mm. So if he is there, that means it's truly him, mm. and it's not like you know someone's playing tricks or something. I see. Yeah, if that's what they meant by disguised, I don't know. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah. Wow. Um, we just got someone that bought us uh, three coffees. Hey, thank Or you. Rather, thank I just you. saw. It. I I don't know how to pronounce your name. It's X O M U P U M I N I. So Mupumini. <laughs> so, so thank you thank you so thank much for that you. wow okay we have uh, but we have question but not relating to uh, Mujahid's uh, story I think relating to something that we uh, said earlier on mm-hmm. right uh, okay Police Academy Yo. The Big Scary Tree by Linda <laughs> Does it ring a bell? Or <laughs> God, he, she asked a question. Yeah, she put a question mark. Wait, three, three question mark. By the way. Okay. Hmm. Uh, if Junaidi, if you are still watching, could you please answer this? Because oh, I I wasn't from the police force. I I spent a lot of time in the police academy. The yeah. old PA. Yeah, the old PA. Oh, I spent okay. a lot of time there, but um, yeah, I don't remember an old tree. Hmm. Yeah. Wow. I remember the firing range. I remember like many other parts of the camp. But mm. there were a lot of old trees anyway. So I, I don't know which one Mm-mm. you're referring to. Yeah, true. What else? What else? Okay. Uh, okay, here by Alice Raymond. I wish Noel can resume hunting again. I really miss GFS, especially with Billy. You mean hunting or, or, or haunting? Hunting, uh, ghost hunting. Oh, ghost hunting. <laughs> <laughs> Hunting, yeah, uh, it's kind of tough, man. You so know, once she you have asked a you that question, lah. Yeah, but I, okay, I stopped mm. doing stuff on YouTube, but um, there is stuff that's going to come out on on television soon. Mm. It's called uh, History Mysteries. I think it either airs in in March or April, right? So I did something at uh, Kampung Wat Hassan. We've mm. done 
an app about Labrador Park. We I have to reshoot again on in a few days. That's going to be about Pulau Ubin. Yes. Wow. Well, wow. Well. Yeah, that's going to be on Channel Five and Me Watch. Hmm. Okay, we have a we have a comment here. Mm. All right. Uh. Yeah. By Rogaya Sapuan. Yay! Could it be Saka? Okay, Saka. How to translate it in English? Yes, it's please. It's, it's, a, it's a Malay word. Saka. Saka, okay. Saka is a form of uh, entity where involve a lot on black magic. I, I, I would say maybe black magic or white magic. I don't know. But it involves in that kind of uh, realm. Yeah. And the meaning of Saka is like it it in hand it inherits i think inherits yeah. from from generation to generation so that means oh. yes there's a meaning of sucker here yeah so if let's say the grandmother is passing on yeah the next she life, has to she have to throw it or like do it have to, to pass it, pass to, it to, their, to somebody else in the family yeah Before, even though even though the one of the family members do not want to yeah exactly it. and yes. then if they don't do that then they can't die right mm. i actually know of someone Wow. This this uh, lady is a, a good friend of mine. Yeah. Right. And I used to go to a restaurant a lot. She's mm. like one one of the, the the nicest people, and also like she can be very fierce. But mm. her when she was young, I think she was about seven or eight years old. I see. Um, her grandma was going to pass on, and then they she remembers like she used to be very scared of the grandma because the grandma looked mm. like she was dead, but she could still talk and it was a very bad smell that that would mm. come from from the grandma mm. so one day um they brought her into this room and said that she has to take whatever is going to be given to her so she was expecting like something right yeah. because you're tangible, a child tangible item yeah right? mm. but then they told her that you will understand this gift in a few years Wow. So then she had, of course no idea and then I think she was very disappointed right mm-hmm. she didn't get an object but it's only later on that she started seeing things things this one thing and this one thing is with her now Still. so all the decisions that she makes mm. is always very 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 spot on wow uh, and I can have conversations with her if I tell her a lie mm. she immediately knows mm. and she doesn't have to be looking at me because mm. she hears this thing Whew. Yeah, and she will ask people questions like when she first meets them, especially like for business. Mm. She will ask questions to see if that person is going to tell the truth. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a gift. Man. Yeah, yeah. But you know, one day, yeah, she will have to pass this on to someone, and but she's got like quite a lot of children. You know, more than oh, than right. um, the average Singaporean. Yeah, wow. that I can say. I don't know. Say too much about her, yeah. Because yeah. I I know like people got a lot of free time, so they're gonna go over my Facebook <laughs> and <laughs> yeah. scroll your friend list, is it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> we have uh, by Jun Yang Pao. Oh, I just got in. How much have I missed? How long has it been? One uh, hour? Mm, yeah. 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 Slightly more than an hour. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. Okay. Yeah, man. All right. Uh, by. Orlando uh, by Linda again. I think Linda. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I think that is a gene in disguise because prophet don't possess human. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Fair yeah. enough. Okay. Another uh, Daniel Ali. Daniel Ali have a question here. Mm-hmm. Hey GFS, I got a question for Mujahid. Did you had any ghost encounters during your school days? Okay, which school oh. do, you, do you go to? So I, in primary school, I went to Parkview Primary School. Mm. So Where again? Parkview Primary. Parkview, okay. Yeah. Secondary? Secondary, I went to Greendale in Pungo. Greendale. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So there was one time I remember in primary school, mm. there, there was a level one staff room that was always dark. Okay. Okay. And... um. It was always doing like recess time. Like me and my friends were like, like play with each other. Like, hey, you want to go inside now? Want to go inside now? Because mm. like, it's a really dark hallway yeah. leading into the level one staff room. Mm. Yeah, and we were always like terrified of it. But you know, we were kids. <laughs> Try to be brave, lah. Yeah. <laughs> so like, 
but um mm. it, uh, this was also during the period where like a lot of us were obsessed with like Ben 10 <laughs> and all those cartoons yeah mm. so um we said like okay one day let's just go mm. into this let's just try and walk through the hallway I see like And then, like, if you go inside, I buy you, I buy you uh, McDonald's or something. Like, okay, settle. So you what lah? Settle lah. Right? <laughs> I was like, okay, McDonald's for me, easy. Okay, mm. so uh, I I just walk in, no mm. problem, no problem. So uh, the the hallways, it's about like uh, like an eight meter walk. Oh, it's a very long, long stretch. Uh. Yeah, mm. it's a very long, narrow hallway, mm. and like it's you can only in, uh, for us kids like three. It's like three kids wide. Mm. Yeah, it's very narrow. So okay, mm. so I walk in, you know, and the door was always closed. We've never, not once, seen a teacher or whoever go in and out of that staff room. Mm. But it said staff room. And like there's the little card reader thing, the yeah. tab to go inside. Mm. So, okay, so I walk in. Ah, nothing. Yeah. Okay, nothing. Feel like no, no. What? Let's go. Okay. So the moment I stepped out, that's when I felt something. Feel. Yeah. I I walk out of the hallway. Yeah. So I touched the door. Okay. The the goal was to touch the staff room door mm. and get out. Mm. So yeah. nothing. So I uh I walked out. That's when. My shoulders got a bit heavy. Something follow you, maybe. Yeah? Mm. Wow. Like, maybe, like it felt droopy. Like there was a weight yeah, on my yeah. shoulder. Yeah. Okay lah. And my friends like, wow, mm. so good. Okay. Uh, later after school, buy McDonald's. Okay, because Elias Mall was like right next door. Okay. Ah, uh, now I know where this is. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Pasir is lah. Yeah. And then mm. there was West Plaza. Elias Mall was there. Mm. So okay. Uh. So I didn't really think much of anything at the time. So it was only after that mm. that one of my friend who saw me mm. uh, coming out of the uh, hallway mm. mm-hmm. that my face was a bit different. Mm. And it was only when I walked into the McDonald's that everything turned normal. <laughs> yeah. It, it, because there's a lot of uh, people there lah. Yeah, yeah, like it's crowd there, lah. No, but we still had like class after that. Ah, okay. So like during class, like I thought everything was normal. Mm. Like I just went through class, like everything was fine, and uh, but my friend was the one that was a bit suspicious about about me. Mm. I was like, okay, so he he only told me like the day after that. Yeah, bro. Uh, you know your face a bit scary. Yeah, after you come out, I was like, huh? <laughs> What I thought everything normal, <laughs> then he say, "No, oh, I I tried to avoid you, man." Oh, they tried to avoid you. Yeah, wow. no, it was only him. It was oh, only him. one person. Okay, and uh, he said that uh, he he did eventually follow us to McDonald's, and he said, "Once I got my free cheeseburger, it's like okay, okay everything fine. It's okay, yeah. I don't have to avoid this guy anymore." Ah, uh, maybe he also feel it, lah. Yeah, wow. But I didn't. I didn't feel anything. All wow. I know is that a bit heavy, but that's it. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> uh, this guy, uh, Daniel Ali says right that mm. he also From went Park to View. Park View. Oh, yeah. yeah. My senior Mujahid. <laughs> 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 okay, uh, we have a comment here by Linda. I think Linda have been commenting uh, quite uh, excessively, but she said, "Sorry if I comment too much, cause I love about paranormal. Don't worry." <laughs> no need to be sorry. No, this is the thing you need to know about Linda yeah. that um, she's a very daring uh, lady, ah. right? So you guys know that I I do my my oh I used to do my ghost hunts and all, right? Mm. She does it as well. Oh, oh nice. yeah, nice. No need to be sorry. You can comment as as many comments you want. Yeah, yeah. as much as you want. Uh, she even does stuff alone, man. Wow! Salute, salute you girl, <laughs> salute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, we have from uh, uh, Shaq Shaq Putri here uh, L- Lawrence Olivero My uncle Might have some Army camp stories Try and ask him Noel Boyd Lawrence Ooh. Olivero Does it ring a bell to you? Yes <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm trying to picture the face Lawrence Olivero Wow 
The only Olivero that I know is uh, Douglas, Douglas Olivero. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> rolling, good, rolling Stone. <laughs> rolling Good Times. <laughs> rolling Good Times. <laughs> rolling Good Times. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. We come from different generation, uh, bro. Uh, sorry, uh. <laughs> yeah, the band energy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, we have also another uh, no, uh, from our viewer, uh, Chin, Chin Dasyu. Uh, Noel should stand outside the Admiralty Prison and inspect. Okay, as long as I'm I'm outside, not inside. <laughs> <laughs> inspect what? You never ask Noel. You you want him to inspect what? Uh, yeah, you yeah. want to inspect to see whether the wall is strong enough, or <laughs> no? Maybe want to inspect the energy or the energy. Yeah, because yeah. you 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 definitely have that uh, ability or that gift, right? To yeah. go anywhere and sense that kind of energy. Maybe probably by standing outside the prison, you might know. Yeah, I mm. actually know someone that was in that prison, so I'm gonna text. This person after this, ah, yeah, I'm gonna ask how was it in there. <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah, wow. Uh, yeah. I just want to know whether he experienced anything. Hmm. Yeah, Linda said, "You remember me, thanks, Boss Noel. <laughs> You're welcome." <laughs> mm. <laughs> hey, uh, read the one by AJ yeah. Naya. Jeremy Naya, AJ, AJ. Uh, like he he left a minute ago about. The three in the old police academy. Okay, sorry. Mm. Yeah, I get okay. AJ Nayo. Uh, the three in old police academy is in the forested area near to the Echo Company. There is a well next to the tree, and the story was it had a paranormal presence there. A pretty spooky place. Yeah, this this well is closed, right? Mm. Like you you can't access it anymore. Am I not right? Oh no, am I wrong? Or am I right? Wrong or right, but I think it's the one that's. Don't closed. assume. Don't assume, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm trying to remember. Like I, I know where Echo Company is. Ah. Yeah, but I'm trying to picture because if my memory serves me right. Okay. Yeah, they they closed up the well. Wow. Yeah. Is it because it's it dry up or it has, has a lot of uh, paranormal activities there? That's why they. they I don't know. Maybe mosquitoes. It. I don't know. I never bothered to ask. Mm. Yeah. It's. I think it's. I think it's a Japanese thing that they close up wells because it's like a portal to the but underworld during, or something. This is during uh, this is way b- before, for example, post war, post war kind of kind of thing. Oh, this, is just, yeah. this is just in general. Oh, that they close up wells when they're not in use. Oh, I see. Because they are like a portal to the underworld. Mm. Ah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I see. I see. Like you, you the, should, sorry. The ring was a thing. You should read uh, the. Comment left by his mom. Mm. Yeah. Earlier. No, like like just like now. Who? Oh, by okay. Uh, lo- by Lawrence Olivero. No, <laughs> <laughs> the, the one above. The one really scary thing. Okay, heaven, heaven, reach me, lah, bro. Okay. Uh, uh, do you want me to read it? Can can can. Okay. So your mom just left a comment. Hi, mom. She <laughs> says one really scary thing that happened was when she looked into the mirror, and what she saw wasn't a face. It was an ugly, dark-looking person. Hmm. Mm. Yeah. Which mirror? Wow. Now I'm curious. I've never t- heard her tell the story before. I have I have a story about a, a mirror. It's in my mom's house. Mm. So this cupboard that we have has been passed down from like generation to generation. So this cupboard has got an inbuilt mirror. Okay. Right, it's it's on the outside. So if you sit on my mom's bed mm. and you 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 look into this mirror and you stare hard enough, yeah, you will see things like a hundred percent. Wow. Yeah, um, like I said, this cupboard is at least a hundred years old. Ooh. Yeah, and it's always covered. Mm. So my mom, when I was old enough and I was okay with with the paranormal, I asked her about mm. it, and so she told me, and I tried. So I've tried this a few times, okay. and I see, I uh, I used to see yeah. other people, yeah, they would just show up and then gone. But I don't know who these people are. I like I, I I've never seen them before. So like, yeah, so like, this is like hundred wow. percent legit, man. Wow. I don't think my wife will allow me to inherit this cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Mm, but it's always covered. Yeah, it's for a good reason. Hmm. Hmm. You think it's like this kind of reflection is a kind of a uh, way to for us to talk with the entities that come from the underworld? Maybe, I I I don't know, man. What's your take on that, Mujahid? I, bef- 
uh, before in my room, mm. there used to be a mirror at the foot of my bed. Yeah. Like right in front of me. So wait, when I sleep, I can see myself. Mm. And then when I wake up, the first thing I see is myself. Mm. And uh, I've had like friends come over and things like that. And uh, they would say like, bro, why do you have a mirror at the front of your bed? And mm. I'm like, why not? It looks cool. And they would always say like, bro, that's how you attract like spirits and shit. Oh. Mm. And I was like, um, so far nothing has happened in my room before. Mm. And uh, I've had also friends who would come over mm. and they say like, your room is Creepy. pretty safe. Oh. Yeah. Like wow. they would like, because I have a friend that, you know, who has that that I opened and she will always like see things and everything. Mm. And when she would come into my room, mm. she said, uh, yeah, your, your house, your room is pretty safe. Wow. Not, like, I don't feel mm. uncomfortable or what. I'm yeah. like, oh, okay. Nice. Oh, that's yeah. good to know. <laughs> yeah. It's always good to know that if your place is, uh, is clean. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I I think that's always important. It's positive, yeah. man. It's positive. It's always good to know something positive. Yeah. Mm. Wow. What else, bro? Okay, we have a lot of uh, question. You want to? Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, by Shaq Putri, she's she's she mentioned that Lawrence Olivero is Ellie Martin Boyd de Silva husband. Hope yes. Helps. Okay. Then, okay. Then now I know who. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. You, you said question, mm. bro. Okay, sorry. Rogaya Safwan. <laughs> ah. Can invite, alama, can invite Chi to come down to the show. Th- that's your mom, yeah. Um, so, mm. uh, yeah, I, I think we can do that or and we can do her a, experience. Uh, yeah. a phone interview. Okay, Chi means, mean her mom. Yeah. Okay, I see. <laughs> yeah. now, I'm, 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 no, we have, to, we have to inform, yeah, yeah. yeah. Inform this, right? Yeah. We have exactly. a lot of uh, English uh, <laughs> viewers here. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, any other questions, bro? Yeah, I think we are approaching eleven o'clock. Yeah, I think that's about it, man. No more questions. Mm. Wow! Thank you so much for those who are still tuning in and also always uh, uh, flooding our comment section with your lovely questions. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, don't forget to share mm. uh, our our video, right? So you can do it here on Facebook. If you can share it, that'd be really nice. We can reach out to more people. Yeah. Uh, it just occurred to me that we won't be on air next week. Yeah, true. Right? Like the two of us won't be on air because you're doing your reservist. Mm. So when do we come back? The, the week after? Yeah, true. Okay. I, I think I will be on, on Facebook anyway, like next Friday. Yeah. I can take questions or we can do a watch party or... Let's do it, man. <laughs> no, you can't do it, right? Because I, you... I will be the viewer. La. I, will, I, will be, I will be haunting you with all the questions. <laughs> sure. Uh. Sure. <laughs> okay. So yeah, that, that's, that's something... I can do next week, but yeah. then Haunted Hour Live itself comes back in two weeks from now. Yeah. Yeah. And if you guys want to be on our show, all you have to do is to reach out to us either uh, uh, on our website, gfs.sg, or on Facebook. Just send us a message and then we will get in touch with you. We just find out more about your backstory. Yeah, cool. Um, and for those who appreciate our content, please, please do not forget. All right. Let's give them a cheers, man. For oh, the coffee. I, I'm actually done. I, my, my mug is empty. <laughs> I have Top water. Up, do something lah, okay? Sure. <laughs> no. sure. Like, okay. Let's imagine there's, there's coffee so, in this. Okay, please, right? If you appreciate our content, please buy us a coffee at www.buymeacoffee.com slash GFSTV. Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, so, you know, if you guys know that... Um, uh, what am I saying? There's so many things going no, on right now. If you guys know Noel, if you guys know Noel, give a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if, if there is something that you guys want us to talk about, a certain topic, let us yeah. know. If you want to be on our show, let us know. Mm. Um, if you don't want to watch the show anymore, let us know why as well. And for those who want to advertise, yeah, yeah. let us know. Yeah, we can definitely work something out. Mm. Uh, advertising can can go in a lot of ways with us. Like it can be on the pre-show, it can be during the show. Yeah. We can do product placements. We can eat. If you if you guys got something for us. Wish you guys... Okay. Somebody just said here, wish mm. you guys hold a makan session for those with like-minded minds to get to know each other. Just saying. Sure. Uh, Shanta, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I've always wanted to do this, you know. And then that 
when I actually was going to do it, COVID, uh, COVID hit yeah. and then there was no way. Mm. But now we can do it eight packs. So then there's two of us. That means six other people. Six guys. Uh. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, we we can. Yeah, we, we definitely can. can. Yeah, for I mean, for our strong supporters and viewers out there, we we, we definitely uh, do this kind of. We organize this kind of things. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully. Mm. Mm. Okay. Uh, I think that's about it for yeah. today. Mm. Um, anything else you want to add, Indra? No, man. Have a good weekend. Ooh, Stay for safe. the first time. He doesn't want to talk. No, 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 no. I'm not. I I love to talk, but I just think that. Uh, a reminder lah and good uh, have a good weekend stay yeah, safe man. right also thank you very much for having me oh <laughs> yes yeah, we, we forgot to thank him lah <laughs> we, sorry Mujahid we actually we, we are about to do it actually yeah exactly uh, okay, okay. We, man I'm reading my script right now here <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, well again thank you so much Mujahid for coming down and sharing all your paranormal stories yeah man it's been a very beneficial session here Thank you, thank, thank you so you, much. Yeah, uh, really, thank you for for coming down and uh, I, I enjoyed this. So I yeah. I, I want to to do a bit more research. Mm. Yeah, that, that's for sure. Um, yeah. So if you guys are still in your Chinese New Year, yeah, uh, mood, you're right. If you are driving, please, 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 yeah, don't drink. Mm. Right. Mm. If you drink, don't drive. And above all, this is what I I always feel that you know, mm. um, we need to help each other more. Right. Do more social good. Mm. Yeah, just be a good person. The the world really needs more good people. Wow. Yeah. And Don't we, you think? Yeah, true. We should we should end the show with a good quote. What? From you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> we are all equal. Love all. Serve all. Nice. nice. Very Ooh, good. Thanks, well bro. Done. Well done, Noel. Very good. It's <laughs> a quick one, no? Yeah. Quick <laughs> feed, are you? Yeah. Of course. <laughs> I'm intelligent, bro. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You always say that. You, you brag about it every week. Uh. <laughs> okay. Uh, once again, thank you so much for tuning in. Yeah, um, thank you so much. Thank we, you. We, we love every single view that we have and all the comments mm. and all the likes and all the shares and all. We really, really means a lot to, to this brand of mine that I started about 13 years ago. Mm. Right? It really means a lot that Uh, your support, you know, is still going strong. Nice. Yeah. So signing off. I'm Noel Boyd. I'm Indra Sahib, and he is Mujahid. Woo! All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all see right. you. Mm. See you all soon. <laughs> Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.